Hello, beautiful people of God, how are you all doing today? I believe God that everyone is enjoying the faithfulness of God. Hallelujah. My returning subscribers, God bless you. And if you're new here, you are welcome. Please endeavor to subscribe to support a sister, okay? Turn on the bell for more uploads notification. God bless you. In today's video, I want to share with you what Pastor Kumuyi shared recently during the course of his ministration about two ministers of the gospel that antagonized him and what happened to them thereafter. So I will drop the clip here for you to watch. And before I do that, I'm going to say a few things here. Number one thing I want to say is this. We, the ministers of the gospel, children of God, we should understand this, that we are not our enemies. No, we have common enemy, and that is the devil. Number two, we have common assignment, and that is the ministry of reconciliation. Number three, that assignment comes by the same spirit, and that spirit is the spirit of the living God, the Holy Spirit. And number four, that assignment comes in diverse ways. Meaning that the way God gave you your own may be different from my own. So focus on your ministry. Focus and make full proof of your calling. Strive to redeem the time for the days are evil. And stop being threatened by the way Andrew is going about the ministry given to him. Or the way Peter is going about his calling. If you feel that anyone is falling into error, there is a way the Bible prescribed for us to go about it. Let us stop this unhealthy competition. Because there is no way you engage in unhealthy competition or any form of distraction and at the same time fulfill your calling, fulfill your ministry. It's not possible. So please, I beg you, focus on your ministry. Please, I beg you, children of God, people of God, focus on your calling. Make full proof of your calling. Focus, stay on your lane. Listen to this video. This thing that this Baba said, is not only happening to him. This is happening all over now, everywhere in the body of Christ. People are being threatened by the grace given to another man. People are being threatened by the ministry of another sister. People are being, you know, feeling insecure. Feeling that, oh, I have to, you know, stop him before he or she will outshine me. That is not part of the assignment. It is not. Let us stop. These people that are antagonizing Pabakumuyi, Baba said that he, he got to a point he has to stop. Is he supposed to be like that? That is not part of the assignment. You trying to stop a man that is working tirelessly to fulfill his ministry. That is not part of the assignment. Let us stop. Let us stop and focus on our ministry. And God Almighty, we bless each and every one of us. Listen to this video and whatever be your own opinion, whatever you are able to get from this video, please put it in the comment section below and God Almighty will bless you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and God will reward you. Bye-bye and remain blessed. Was, um, a particular country, in this particular country, was this great man of God, except that he didn't follow a particular part of the word of God. I don't want to mention the country. If I mention the country, those who are listening, they will know that's their country. Even now they can tell. And he had radio ministry. He had an extensive ministry. And he had heard what were presaged and preached in the word of God. He will go over the radio and then he will blast me and blast all the things that were saying. And um, he had started well. He'll marry a man that is conduct married for a man and a woman. Later, he turned 
If you are divorced, come uh, get your marriage. If your wife has, doesn't know how to cook and doesn't know how to iron your clothes very well and you want to push her away, say, it's all right, it's all right. You don't like her and you are not compatible anymore. Marry another one, I'll conduct the marriage for you. And then, but thank God, I continued. I said I continued. I said I continued. And then, eventually, he heard the word. And this is a radio minister. This is a popular minister. A minister that was known all over his country. And was convicted of God. And he said, I am wrong. And he didn't just say that privately. He went over the radio. He said, today I have a special message for the nation. Coming from me. I have been doing this and doing that but now the spirit of the lord by the word of god has convicted me and i know i am wrong and all of you he told them that i have marriage a conducted wedding for you second wife third wife i want to tell you i did that in disobedience to the word of god i have repented and I challenge you to repent. And then he made right his way and he continued in the path of righteousness. And not too long after, the Lord called him to glory. He finished well. You will finish well. Yeah. Things to repent of, things to adjust, things to make right. You make those things right, and then you continue in ministry. Another country. In that country, there was a man there, and this man, when he started the ministry, he was not moving on very well. And so he traveled to Nigeria. He came to Lagos. He slept at Bagada, that's where Headquarters Church is, for three days before he had a chance to see me. And eventually, I saw him. He told me about his ministry. And he told me it's not moving well. And he wanted anointing. He wanted power. So I laid hands on him and prayed for him. He went back to his country. As he went back to his country, the work began to grow. Success expansion, multiplication, the Lord will give you. Yeah. And then, uh, he was on radio in that country, I was on radio in that country. And he felt he didn't want this man to have the same success he had in Nigeria. He didn't want him to come to his country and, you know, possess the land. And so, if we preached anything, uh, on, you know, maybe let's say Tuesday, Wednesday, when he comes to preach Thursday or Friday, he will take the message of preach and throw everything out. He'll be direct. He wasn't, uh, you know, doing it surreptitiously. He'll be direct. And he did that every week until we said, there's no point that I preach, then the following two days after, he will come and, you know, everybody will know that there's fighting going on somewhere. So we have to stop our own radio ministry there in that country so that he can continue. If that is how to do the work of God. He did that for a long time. And then I was to go there for crusade and ministers conference. And in that minister's conference, I told our overseer there, contact that man. And we can even use his church building. And so we did. We also gave him a message to preach. Since I was there now, I wanted to see how he would do it and still continue the fight. But you know, after I preached some messages there, and his own time now came. I was sitting down there. And he came and he said, Ministers, 
I cannot preach before I tell you something. I want to apologize publicly that this man here is the one that God used to raise me up. I went to visit him in Nigeria. He prayed for me and doors began to open for me. But in my jealousy, I began to criticize him. You know, on the radio, I opposed him. But now I want to tell you and I want to tell the whole nation, I am wrong. He made his restitution right there. And then he turned to me where I was sitting. He said, please forgive me, I am wrong. Now, I will preach only the gospel and not preach to attack you. You know, if we're going to finish well, we have to do that. And we have to clean up our slate and clean up our lives and clean up our ministry until we finish with manliness.